Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the tutorials on the Galaxy for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can perform genome annotation using the Proca tool. So first of all, you need to make sure uh, you have visited the Galaxy platform. And there's the link. I'll leave the link in the description box. If you are new to the Galaxy platform, I also encourage you to watch my introductory video. Okay, so in that video, I give a general overview of the Galaxy platform and how you can navigate. So I make sure to watch that video. The link to that video is in the description box. So after you have visited the Galaxy platform, make sure to log in with your user credentials. If you don't have an account, make sure to register and get an account. In the introductory video, I show you how to register and get an account. So make sure you do that and then you can follow this tutorial. So let's proceed. Now we are going to use the tool called Proca. Okay. Proca is a tool for genome annotation. And if you want to read more, you can visit the developer's GitHub page, which is here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. It's a command line tool. Okay, but Galaxy um, has made it available here. And it's 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 easier for people without programming experience to uh, use this because here uh, you don't write the commands, you just have to select the tool or the tools that you want and then just specify your parameters upload your data and then start your analysis so that's about it so let me also say that if you are interested in using the command line version of Proca, i have a tutorial that shows how to do that the link to that video is in the description box so just make sure to check that as well so that's about it so after you have logged in we need to first create a history okay we want to track this activity we want to make sure that whatever we are doing now is saved in a particular history so that it becomes easy to locate that and then download the files and even upload files um, to that particular history so let's first create a history so on the right side come to the plus here and then click it and if you click it uh, you have this which is on name history that's the default name so edit it and then say genome annotation. Genome annotation. And then save it. Okay, so you have saved it. So now we are going to upload our data. So the data we are going to use is available on one of my github repos and it is also here i will leave the link to this page in the description box so we are going to use this file here called space context a so this file was generated using space okay so i performed a genome assembly um, tutorial and then i used that to generate this particular file here that's what we are going to annotate so um this is from a microbiotic australian isolate and then I use the um, whole genome sequence for the assembly and then I generated it. So that's about it. So if you're also interested in genome assembly, I have some tutorials that you can watch. I'll leave all those videos in the description box. Okay, so there's the data. So let's look at how we can get this data to our environment. So first of all, when you are here, just click this file. And then you'll be sent to this page here. Come to the right side, click on raw. Yes, and when you are here, you don't have to download this file to your PC. We are only going to use the download link. So copy the link which has been highlighted. This link here, copy it. That's what we need. So now let's go back to the Galaxy platform. We are here now. So we are going to upload. So we'll go to the left side. You will see this upload data button. Click it. And then when you are here, make sure you have selected regular. And then come to paste slash fetch data. Click it. And then when you are here, don't change anything here. Come to this entry box and then paste the link that you copied. Okay. So that's what you have to do yeah so this is uh, my link and then i'll click on start 
the reason why i don't want us to modify this is that we want to maintain the name okay that's we saw on github so so that's it so let's click start and then galaxy will fetch this data for us so now it says 100 percent. so that means we can close this window so let's close it and then come to the right side here and then you will see the progress so let's wait for the data to be fetched for us so with the file name here if the highlight color is gray that means that the job is in queue if it's orange then that means that it's processing and if it's green then that means that the job has been done now the highlight color is green that means that everything is okay the data has been fetched for us so now the data, the data is available on our system okay and um, i repeat the data is now available um, on our accounts in our respective accounts we have the data there so we can now proceed with a genome annotation so for the annotation we are going to use proca so come to the left side here and then search for proca so we type p r o k k a and then it will show up so we are using the first one here proca prokaryotic genome annotation so click it and then uh, you have this window coming up so here we will leave it like this because this is the file name a local stack preface we will leave it because uh, Rocka can automatically generate one for us. But you can also put your sample name there. That's also fine. And then, there is an intro video. So, I would like us to um, avoid modifying the parameters here. I will enable this one, which is add gene features for each CDS feature. So, I'll just enable it. So, I'll say yes. And then, the other parameters i will leave them but make sure that the kingdom you specify bacteria so you can click and then check the available organisms so this is bacteria so we'll leave it as it is and then uh, that's it so once we are done we can click on the execute button here so click it and then you have this message being given to you so you have the two and then you also have the file and then you also have the output files that will be generated proca generates 12 output files and so once you see this then you can come to the right side and then check the progress of your work so again we see that that the color is gray not the text but the background color is gray that means that the the job is in queue okay so we have to see this color changing to orange and into green then we can see that everything's okay so let's wait for uh, the work to complete okay genome annotation has been done and that is why we see the background of all these texts a screen please take note that sometimes Galaxy may take a couple of minutes or hours or even days to run an analysis. If the job is taking long, you can always contact the developers. And there is a community for Galaxy, so you can just go there and then just type your question or even contact the developers and then they will help you out. I will leave the link to the community in the description box as well. So just make sure to check that out. Now we have 12 output files here. A description of each of these files is given here. Uh, there's the broker GitHub page. So we have all these files being generated for us. So what I do when I perform genome annotation is to count the predicted features like CDS, rRNA, tRNA, etc. So that's one of the things that I do. So I normally use the GenBank file and then I'll read with Python and then count the features. I have tutorials that show how to read GenBank files and also count the features. So I'll leave the link to those videos in the description box. So use that to um, get your information. And if you have multiple samples, then you can even compare them. Maybe 
how many CDS uh, were predicted for maybe sample one, how many were predicted for sample two. You can also look at the number of predicted genes and all that. So this is something you can do if you have multiple samples. Uh, you can also perform pangenome analysis if you have multiple samples. And for that, we use the two Rory, okay, to do that. So I use Rory to do that if I am working on bacteria isolates. I have a tutorial that shows how to perform panel analysis. So I also leave that video, the link to that video in the description box for you to check out. So uh, that's it. So after general annotation, uh, you just need to look at these files and that will help you to uh, understand your, your, your organism, okay, in terms of um, its um, genetic makeup. And you can also use that to explain certain things. For example, if your isolates, okay, you obtain it from an area where there's an outbreak of a disease, then after notation, you can compare the predicted features to the wild type, and then uh, that may help you to explain why uh, your isolate of interest is virulent or so that may explain the violence okay probably uh, there's a presence or absence of a gene and that is causing that isolate to be violent so these are things you can explain so that means that you need to also know the biology that's important so it's not just about annotation but then it's about performing the annotation and then explaining what you have so that's important so you should always consult the experts and then they can Help you out with bioinformatics. Almost all the tools are free, okay. And there are communities that also uh, give advice. For example, we have BioStars, we have Seek Answers, we also have Galaxy Community, etc. So you can go to these forums, ask your questions, and probably uh, the question may have been asked by others already, and then the answers are already there. So you can just search and then just use that tool answer your question so that's about it so if you have the files here you can download them so let's look at how you can download them you can download them individually so i'll show you how to do that let's look at one of them let's say we want to have the ffn here you can click it and then scroll down to this button here this save button here and when you I bring the cursor to this button you will see the text download so you can click it and then you'll be asked to save this file so you can save it and in the process of saving you can also rename it so uh, the naming that one is up to you so you can save it and even explore it using your file manager like what i'm going to do now so this is a file okay so you can do that as well now let's go back to the Galaxy platform. If you took a look at these files, there are 12 of them. Okay. Now if you have lots of files, then it can become awesome trying to download them individually. So there's a way to download several files at once. So that's the batch download. So to download everything in your history, all the files in your history, then you can come to the history at the right side. Check this small um, drop down here. Just click it and then you have everything here. So just go to export history to file and then click it. So if this is the first time you are using the export command for that history, then you will have this text being displayed. So what you have to do is to generate a new archive for this history. So you just have to click this link and then Galaxy will prepare all the necessary files for you and then to generate a link for you. So you can use that link to download the files. So let's wait for the link to be generated for us. Okay, the link has been generated. So if you want to download the files just click on this link and then you'll be asked to save this file okay so there's a table because it's ending with dot star dot gz so it's compressed so you can save it on your pc and then 
you can go and then explore it so here you can open it with your archiving software i have mine and then you can select the data sets just click it and then you have all these files so you can then extract the files so i will extract mine here so i have the files here okay so i have all the 12 files here and then you can i use python or other tools to open the appropriate files and then continue with the analysis so that's how we do it so again i have tutorials on python and then um how it can be used to open the fast and the jambang file so just make sure you watch those videos so it's very very important okay so uh, that's it let's go back to our galaxy platform okay so we are back to the galaxy platform so this is a quick introduction to the galaxy platform and how it can be used to perform genome annotation by running the proca tool so i also encourage you to watch the videos in this playlist to learn more about the galaxy platform